right now we have chosen to spend our Sukiya experience at Diamond Mall USJ. We are so excited, it's not going to be our first time but every time we are going, we're just happy. So what you can do in Sukiya is that you can choose your protein. They have lamb, beef as well as chicken but we didn't get chicken that day. So now I have chosen my soup. I have sukiyaki, the black one and also shabu shabu. You can also choose other soup but I think you're only allowed two soup at one time. There's mala miso, there's miso, there's tomato, there's also kimchi soup. Don't worry if you're a first timer and you're not exactly sure what to do There's actually a paper on your table that you can read on Like this part, they told you about They're telling you about the sauces that there are And also how to enjoy your sukiyaki What kind of things that you should do So it's pretty cool You can check on the protein that you can order Beef, chicken or lamb, the veggies And also the best part Dipping your sukiyaki in eggs and there I am having this eggs don't worry about the eggs at Sukiya it's all pasteurized so it's pretty safe for you to eat it raw Another tip that I would like to share is that don't put all your protein in the boiling broth. What you do is just take as much as you want to eat at that moment and just dip it so that you won't have overcooked meat and you can enjoy just the right doneness of your meat. Of course, they will also give you drinks, so I am choosing lemongrass tea, but they also have green tea at the side.
can also request for their balls. They have meatball and also chicken balls. So just ask from the staff, they will bring it to you. Another thing that you can do is actually ask for sushi. They already have a sushi platter outside, but sometimes it's not filled in. So you can get the staff to give you some sushi. They will send it to your table. So yeah, basically that's about it. That's my Sukiya experience. This is just me walking around and found the biggest mosaic made of Lego bricks in Malaysia. Come closer and you'll see that the sign actually says do not touch. But I touch it anyway because I'm such a rebel. So thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe so that maybe I can show you more amazing food in Malaysia. Thank you so much guys. See you next time. Bye.